Hello everyone, I am Pooja, studying at Kaili Society's College of Education, Vidyanagar, Hubbali. Here is the presentation on mathematical process. We will learn about mathematical process. They include reasoning, logical thinking, problem solving and connection. Mathematical process means thinking and reasoning, calculation and salvation by mathematical methods. They include reasoning, logical thinking, problem solving and connecting. We will see what is reasoning. Mathematical reasoning happens through making conjectures, investigating and representing findings and explaining and justifying conclusion. Basically, mathematical reasoning happens through making conjectures and investigating and then representing what all the things we have found through investigating and then explaining and justifying the conclusion. Reasoning can be thought of as the process of drawing conclusion on the basis of evidence of stated assumptions and sense making can be defined as developing an understanding of a situation, context or concept by connecting it with exi existing knowledge. <clears throat> reasoning can be thought it is basically a process where we draw the conclusion on the basis of the evidence or stated assumption. The National Council of Teacher of Mathematics defines reasoning as a productive way of thinking that becomes common in the process of mathematical inquiry and sense making. The teachers of mathematics defines reasoning as how we think is the way how much it is productive that becomes common in the process of mathematical inquiry. Example of reasoning 18 plus 27 is equals to x plus 29 where 29 is 2 more than 27. So the number in which is to be added has to be 2 less than 18 to make the equation. Instead of adding 18 plus 27 and then figuring out the number to add 29 to get 45 Simplify the calculation by comparing the numbers and they has realized 29 is 2 more than 27 so the number added had to be 2 less than 18 which is 16. Then we will see the types of reasoning. There are two types inductive reasoning and deductive reasoning. Inductive reasoning occurs when children explore and record results, analyze observation and make generalization from patterns and test these generalization. Deductive reasoning occurs when children reach new conclusions based upon what is already known or assumed to be true. Inductive reason, in, reasoning occurs when children explore and record results. What uh, we, 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 what we have found by the investigating and justifying the results in, in inductive reasoning, children must explore and then record the results and analyze the observation and then make generalization from patterns and then test these generalizations. Deductive re reasoning occurs when children reach new conclusion by based upon what is already known or assumed to be true. Moving on, advantages of mathematical reasoning. Mathematical reasoning helps children think logically and make sense of mathematics, develops confidence in their abilities to reason and explain their mathematical thinking. High order inquiry challenges children to think and develop a sense of wonder about mathematics. Mathematical experience in and out of the classroom should provide opportunities for children to engage in inductive and deductive reasoning. Moving on logical thinking. Logical thinking is the act of analyzing a situation and coming up with a sensible solution which is similar to critical thinking. So logical thinking is basically an act where we analyze a particular situation and come up with a solution which makes sense which is similar to critical thinking. Logical thinking requires the use of reasoning skills to study a problem objectively which will allow you to make a rational conclusion about how to proceed. So before doing uh, knowing the logical thinking we should know reasoning. So 
because we have to use the reasoning skill to study the problem objectively example of logical thinking logical thinking is the act of analyzing a situation and coming up with a sensible solution when you use the fact available to you to address a problem you may be facing at work for example you are using logical reasoning skills moving on advantages of logical thinking logical thinking enhances language and presentation skills thinking clearly and systematically can improve the way we express our ideas in learning how to analyze the logical structure of text critical thinking also improve comprehension abilities so logical thinking basically enhances the language and then presentation skills thinking clearly and systematically uh, can make can make you express your ideas more clearly and at the point and then logical thinking skills are important because they can help you reason through important decisions solve problems generate creative ideas and set goals all of which are necessary for developing your career moving on problem solving the process of working through details of problems to reach a solution is called problem solving so problem solving is basically a process through which we have to work through the details of the problem to reach a solution so problem solving may include mathematical or systematic operations and can be got of an individual's critical thinking skills problem solving situation call upon children to retrieve previously learned information and apply it in new or varying situations knowing the basic arithmetic skills knowing when to incorporate them into new contexts and then being able to do so are three distinct skills students need to explore mathematics through solving problems and then the advantages of solving problems the solving problems problem solving approach is being modeled children develop their own problem solving strategies by being open to learning discussing and trying different strategies children can develop their own problem solving strategies by uh, simply being open to listening discussing and trying different strategies a true problem requires children to use prior learning in new ways and context problem solving develops and builds depth of conceptual understanding and student engagement problem solving is powerful teaching tool that fosters multiple and creative solution creating peer environment can make children actively look for and engage in finding solutions moving on mathematical connecting mathematical connection ability is the ability to associate mathematical concept both between concept in mathematics itself and linking mathematical concepts to other concept in another field so basically a mathematical connection is ability to associate the mathematical concepts both between concepts in mathematics and itself and linking mathematical concepts to other concepts in another field mathematical connection ability is an important part that must be mastered by student at every level of education mathematical connection as a cognitive process through which a person relates or associates two or more ideas concepts definitions theorems procedures representations and meanings among themselves with other disciplines or with real life and the important of mathematical connections making connections within mathematics and between mathematics and other subjects not only helps student understand the mathematical ideas more clearly it also captures their interest and demonstrate how mathematics is used in real world mathematically relevant observations that students make about their pro- problem solving solutions connections require student to look at their solutions and reflect so making connection within mathematics will help the students to understand 
the concept more clearly and the ideas of the concept more accurately so it also captures their interest and demonstrate how mathematics is used in real life that's all thank you